A bill seeking the upward review of judges' salaries, allowances, and fringe benefits for judicial officers nationwide came under public hearing at the Senate on Monday. Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi San, bemoaned the neglect in the remuneration of judicial officers for close to 17 years. The present day, but sad reality is that the judiciary has stagnated on the same salary scale for over 16 years. This is totally unacceptable and is quite antithetical to any meaningful judiciary form. I strongly recommend this bill for your kind consideration and to urge the Senate to support and ensure the passage of this bill in the national interest of promoting the rule of law. That our focus on judicial reform is not only about judicial remuneration. In consultation with the judiciary and other key stakeholders, we are also interested in ensuring a holistic review of our judicial system to respond to the justice needs of Nigeria. This is why I'm taking immediate and urgent steps to establish a working group on the review of the constitution and other relevant laws. The working group will, among others, focus on the key provisions aimed at achieving the judiciary that responds to the evolving needs of Nigerians. At the appropriate time, and I promise very soon, we will come up with the proposals for constitutional and statutory reforms of the judiciary in particular and the administration of justice in general. Minister of Finance, Wali Edun, had also appeared before the Senate committee. Under the then governor, Tinubu, the judiciary was reformed, revamped, totally rejuvenated, and hugely encouraged through the presence of, through the provision of physical facilities, technology, buildings, magistrates' courts, law courts, high courts, and in addition, of course, judiciary were extremely well remunerated compared to what the then governor met on ground. It's a continuation of that tradition that is now coming to, into, um, into effect. An attempt and an initiative to improve the lot of the judiciary. President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Monica Dongba Mensem, and other judicial office holders said salaries and welfare are not the only crucial issues. It's not only the judicial officers, and it's not only salary that concerns us, though it's very important. Even the daily running of the courts is an issue. We are almost closing down some of our courts for want of resources to manage. Some offices, I understand, alternate the coming to the office of their staff. We in the judiciary cannot dare to do that because people will be crying, justice delayed, justice denied. And so we are in this suffering. The Senate, having taken the important step of considering the removal of the judiciary from the certain political, public, and judicial officers holders act, should go a step further by creating a judicial office holders entitlement panel, which will take up the sole responsibility of determining the salaries, allowances, and other benefits of judicial officers as presently done by the Revenue Mobilization and Education and Fiscal Commission that it will be unjust if retired officers are unable to benefit from the upward review of judicial remuneration, especially having been victims of the inability of previous governments to make progress on the issue of fair and reasonable salaries for judicial officers. In his opening remarks as Chairman, Senate Committee on Judiciary, Legal Matters and Human Rights, Tahir Monguno said the proposed bill aims to readjust the compensation framework for judicial officers, a step that aligns with ongoing discussions about the need to bolster judicial independence through adequate remuneration. The proposed bill is part of broader efforts to enhance the welfare of the judiciary, 
a move seen as crucial for maintaining the judicial system's independence and efficiency.